Today, we will discuss how to maximize the potential of your SD-WAN deployment with Megaport Virtual Edge, also known as MVE. Software-defined Wide Area Networking, SD-WAN, is a next-generation networking approach that is considered a game-changer for enterprises in terms of both cost and flexibility. With that said, deployments can become complex as the workforce and underlying infrastructure is more distributed than ever. MVE streamlines and simplifies connectivity from branch to cloud, avoiding the unpredictable and unnecessary extra hops that come with connecting via the public internet. Users can minimize the use of public internet in their WAN, ultimately reducing latency and jitter and increasing reliability. So what is MVE? MVE is a virtual device that enables SD-WAN connectivity into Megaport's world-class network as a service platform. Ultimately, extending Megaport's global ecosystem to branch offices and remote locations. With MVE, you can help realize the full potential of your SD-WAN architectures and optimize your network. The Megaport connectivity model is visually displayed here. And ultimately, it's comprised of two components, access and connectivity. We have various forms of access as listed here, but for today's session, we'll focus on MVE. All of the Megaport components are deployed with just a few clicks in our web-based GUI, making it simple to design, deploy, monitor, and manage your Megaport solutions. Once MVE is deployed, users have full access to the various services across our global footprint. They can connect to these services by deploying virtual cross connects or VXCs. VXCs are virtualized layer two connections over our private backbone and they're available in minutes. Off of each MVE, you can deploy up to 24 VXCs, providing you the control to consume what you want, when you want. So we understand the components, but what else is an MVE solution comprised of? The user will bring a few items of their own into the solution. They will have their branch location enabled with SD-WAN, including connectivity at their branch, installed customer premises equipment, or CPE, and also SD-WAN licensing. With that in hand, they can deploy an MVE in minutes, allowing them to virtually host their SD-WAN appliance, will provide connectivity to terminate tunnels between the MVE and that CPE at the branch, and from here, they will have access to our global ecosystem with the ability to deploy those 24 VXCs to any endpoint on our network. As mentioned, today, networks are more complex than ever, and network strain is becoming difficult to manage between distributed workforce and the various real-time communications that are happening in business today. With MVE, you can extend your WAN from anywhere with the ability to deploy virtual edges globally in a matter of minutes. You no longer have to build and operate MPLS networks or settle for your current SD-WAN deployment. Now you can control your traffic flows and the underlying network infrastructure in real time to ensure you can address complexity and strain at scale. To ensure access to the Megaport platform as close to the edge as possible, MVE 
has been deployed in numerous locations across the globe. To ensure reliability, we have deployed the infrastructure supporting MVE in two different physical locations in each metropolitan area listed here, and we leverage diverse IP transit. We will continue to add additional locations to meet our user demand. In addition, we have partnered with the top SD-WAN providers in the market and gone through API integrations to ensure you have a seamless experience leveraging the best-in-breed technology. As you can see here, Cisco SD-WAN, Fortinet, and Versa are currently available to leverage with your MVE deployment. With VMware SD-WAN and Aruba, formerly known as Silverpeak, coming soon. To highlight MVE's technical specifications, we have broken out various capabilities here. One item I want to point out is the sizing for MVE itself and what this correlates to. So as you can see on the table here on the right, we have three sizes denoted as small, medium, and large. Each size has a specific number of virtual CPUs and internet throughput allocated to it. In addition, we've highlighted the typical number of SD-WAN endpoints, or branches, so to speak, that could be supported by this deployment. So for example, a medium MVE has four virtual CPUs and one gig of internet throughput. In common scenarios, this can support up to 100 SD-WAN endpoints. Now that we have some of the foundational details of MVE, I'd like to highlight some SD-WAN use cases. For enterprises with multiple branches requiring high-performance cloud connectivity, MVE can be leveraged to streamline the deployment, all while providing private connectivity closer to the edge. In this example, seven branch locations in the Los Angeles area were connected to an MVE deployed in Los Angeles. All of the traffic from the branches is aggregated via the MVE, and from there, it traverses our private backbone to the cloud. In addition to localized deployments, large enterprises with hundreds or thousands of locations can greatly benefit from deploying MVEs regionally rather than hairpinning traffic through physical infrastructure. This is the case here, where a Fortune 500 company with over 1,100 branch locations leverages MVE to optimize their traffic flow between these branches and applications running in both AWS and Microsoft Azure. All in all, MVE extends the enterprise network edge with access to on-demand network devices. With Megaport's API-driven network platform, we enable end-to-end -end provisioning with the ability to add technology enhancements ensuring you can count on Megaport as your future-proof network platform. Thank you for your time today. For more information, please visit our website at www.megaport.com, where you can learn more about MVE and our other services. You can also reach out for a private consultation with our sales and solutions team to ensure that you get the most out of your Megaport experience and deployment.